hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to uh, know all the data how many data have been entered into the database okay so we will show the data whatever it is present okay inside this database okay so this is my admin panel and registration table where I have some data okay inside this so let me see what are the data so there are total two number of data okay so I want to fetch that is total number of registered user or number two okay it should show over here so it's like a row count so guys let's get started with it okay so I'm in the blog file admin folder index.php okay so let's get to the blog file admin folder index.php file okay so this is my file and yes okay so let me once arrange this beautify html okay so guys let's get started with this so this is the first step where it is telling earning monthly something okay earning monthly so i am going to tell this uh, total registered registered okay total registered admin okay so that will be over here okay so the, the total registered admin will be inside this row okay so I will tell you h1 demo okay so I'm just showing the output how it will be okay it is like this demo okay total registered admin demo it is there so I just want to show the total number of admins who are present in this okay so let's get started with it so guys um, as normal start the PHP coding okay so PHP start PHP close okay so now um, yes we need one query okay so we will give a query that is select select star uh, we don't need star we will just select the ID from where register table so that is this is a register table so I'm going to copy this copy this okay and paste it over here that is um order by order by ID okay this ID fine so this is the ID where I have taken it okay ID and let's run this oops dollar query underscore run is equal to mysql i underscore query query function okay so query function inside this we have to give dollar connection okay comma and your this query right so this dollar connection is nothing but your database connection thing okay so you can just give the connection over here itself okay mysql i connect right so you can give the connection over here direct or else you can include in one folder okay that is localhost then username is root password is nothing and database name is admin panel okay so I'll show you admin panel right so this admin panel is over here and now let's execute it so I just want to keep this into one um, file I mean one file 
so let's create one file called dbconfig.php okay not ab db config.php okay so we'll paste that right close the php so i'm going to copy this go to index.php file okay and type require and call the file okay that is db config.php right done so now you can always call this file everywhere where you want it right and let's view the output uh, let's type we create a variable row and we will fetch the mm, data mysql i numbers of rows and num rows okay function where i'm going to call the dollar query run okay so dollar query run and here i will echo the value that is inside h1 okay so inside h1 i will echo the value that is dollar dollar row okay so dollar row i will view so it's done and now let's see the output and it should give a number value okay so let's get back reload the page and we are getting two okay we'll remove this demo i want to remove this out and let's reload so we are getting two number okay so now i will show you one more thing that is when i add the user admin okay so if you don't know how to do this i have uh, made into one playlist admin registration admin panel register okay so you will get everything so guys i'm going to register one way way that gmail.com one two three four one two three four with confirm pass password and confirm password save and it is a uh, five because i have deleted the data so it is showing five so i'll go to dashboard that is see here it is three now so it is three now right i'll add one more it will tell me four number of fours registered users are available so om prakash so om at gmail dot com one two three six one two three six okay let's save it and let's see the dashboard main page number of registered user is four okay total register admin right so guys we have learnt how to create this um, row count and uh, display the data how much they are available okay or else you can just tell here inside this only admin total admin okay directly so you'll find it like something like this okay so we don't need this one so i'll just try to keep in h4 and reload the page it will show me in a small thing okay so guys uh thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share